Today I thought I'd share with you a technique called split negative using the lovely September stamp of the month paper garden. So with split negative what you end up with is two images in two different colours. So I'm going to be using um, this main image here that I've put on a 4x5 block. And what you want to do is take your 4x5 block and cut two pieces of cardstock to the same size as the block so that you can get a nice precise stamp. So the first thing we do is stamp No, I'll do the white first. Take your white pigment ink and cut the block. Get the stamp nice and wet. And then you're just going to line up your block with the cardstock so that you can get a nice um, clean image and then when we go to stamp it on the other cardstock it will be in the same place. So stamp it on and then you're going to repeat that with um, the sorbet ink on the white background. So we just did the white ink on the sorbet background now we're going to do the opposite once I've cleaned the stamp. So once again, get the stamp nice and inky. And you'll want to use pigment ink for this, or you can use um, Versamark and a um, coloured embossing powder. But for today, I'm just taking the easy way. So once again we want to line up the stamp so that we get that nice um, same image and stamp it down. Ta-da! And then what you're going to want to do is before the ink dries put your embossing powder over these. Now I'm using the clear embossing powder don't be afraid to be heavy handed like me so there's that one and that one all ready and then you can just tip your extra powder away. And then you're going to take your heat gun and heat both of the There we go. So now you can see it's embossed. And the other one. So now what you're going to do is cut each image in half. So these were at 
four inches, so you want to cut each image at two and literally cut the image in half and that's why it's really important to um, line it up in the middle of your block and make sure that um, yes, it's in the right place. You can do this um, with a um, symmetrical image but I quite like the flower for um, this particular one that I'm doing. It looks really stunning in black and white and uh, yeah, it's fun to have a play. Right, so then what you want to do is take a coordinating card stock colour. So I've chosen here and all you're going to do is match your image using the opposites from each like so oh, I'll stick that one down better later and then take the white And then the other half of the sorbet. And then let me just fix this one. Right, it should stick now. Now you have two split negative images. So on my blog I'm going to show you these cards all finished um, and you can come along and get some more ideas on the blog and I'll put the link to that below on my YouTube. Um, otherwise if you're joining me from your blog you will have seen these beautifully finished.